YouTube is rife with videos of model ME262s rolling and often crashing on takeoff and landing. These are usually the result of tip stalls, which are common on swept wing aircraft. The ME262 is particularly susceptible due to its long swept wing. A tip stall can happen to any airplane, but at low speed swept wing aircraft have a special risk. That is because as a swept wing aircraft slows, some of the air begins to deflect down the leading edge of the wing and spill off the tips. This disturbs the smooth flow of air over the wing tips and of course the ailerons. This not only makes the ailerons less effective, but also moves the center of lift forward making the airplane tail heavy. The usual result is a wing dropping followed by the pilot correcting the bank. Once the airplane begins to rock, a new problem develops. As the wing tips rock up and down, the angle of attack keeps changing. As the wing goes down, the angle of attack gets more extreme and can easily exceed the critical. At that point, the tip is stalled and disaster is likely, especially if the pilot pitches up or in the case of the ME262 adds power too quickly. The underslung engines produce a pitch up moment when power is applied and the faster the power is applied, the worse it gets. Like any stall, the best action is to get the nose down to decrease the relative angle of attack and stop the wing rocking. Add power as gradual as you can, only once the nose is down. The irony here is that if you are landing, you are likely already low and slow and will crash if you do not add power. On takeoff, the best thing to do is reduce the angle of attack. The problem is so prevalent in swept wing aircraft that many jets have either stall fences which channel the low speed air back over the wing thus preventing it from sliding off the tip, or they use vortex generators to disturb the air slightly as turbulent air adheres to the wing better. Other aircraft use downwash on the ailerons which increases the size and camber of the wing while some accomplish the same thing by use of a cuff leading edge, sometimes called a dog tooth. If the aircraft is held down on the runway until a lot of speed is generated and a gentle, relatively flat initial climate is established, then the ME262 makes a reasonably benign takeoff. On landing, you will need to keep the speed up and the nose down until over the runway. The ME262 RC is a torpedo and it personifies the phrase, speed is life. It's a very capable platform, but it is not for the beginner nor even, in my humble opinion, for the intermediate. It is for the RC pilot that is looking for a challenge to move into the faster spectrum, and it would actually make a decent primer before moving into a real turbine. In the hands of an experienced pilot, it's an incredible machine, but you have to respect its need for speed. Well, that's my assessment, and as always, have fun, and we'll see you at the RC field.